Welcome to the Peach Tree Morning Show by DCI. It's a wise way to start the day. Hope you enjoy. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Peach Tree Morning Show. We're excited to be here today. I'm Alex from Durango, Colorado, and we have a special guest, Emily Chen from Taiwan. She's a full time Diamond X speaker and trainer, and using a Diamond uh, cutter principles in all areas of your life. I really admire Emily. We go to school together at the Sedona College as well, 10 time returners. And uh, so we get to spend a lot of time together. I, I think of Emily as my sister from Taiwan. And we have Geshe Michael Roach here today, as always. I'm your brother from Arizona. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not, not my dad. I'm your grandpa. I'm your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> my brother from Arizona. So I'm so happy to be with you guys today. And it yeah. is Thursday, July 9th. Yeah. And we have a great show for you today. Emily, yeah. are you ready to play the question? Oh, yes. We have the question from Jamily. Let me see. Uh, this is a pan from the Mediterranean, I think. This is to my I would like to know what I can do to plant seeds for enhancing, maintaining, or improving the vision of other people, like blind people, for instance, or those elderly who are getting poorer and poorer vision. Um, what can I do? Thank you. I'm sorry, I think that was Tobias. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry, Tobias from Germany. A great question about how to help people who are losing their vision as they get older or people who have uh, bad eyesight, or even I think he said blind people who need help with improving their vision or protecting their vision. And this happens as we get older. Uh, we have to have all these pairs of glasses all around the house because we always <laughs> misplace them. And if, if you go to a restaurant, you can't read the menu. <laughs> so we're, some of us are just slowly becoming blind over time. And that's a kind of a scary thing, really, isn't it? So, Emily, let's start with you. What would you say to Tobias? Hmm. I think it's a really good question. So I was thinking like, uh, if we want to see uh, nicely, we can help others. So for example, like uh, some elderly person, they cannot read properly, maybe we can read for them. Maybe they are like, maybe when they were young, like my mother, when, when she was young, she read a, a lot of books. But right now, she sometimes she was complaining, oh, the letter is too small, I cannot really read. Or sometimes she, but I, I knew she liked uh, to read. So I, I think it would be very nice if from time to time, maybe we can read together with them, just like when we were little, they read story to us. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe right now we can read some cool article with them and to help them to share the new like uh, information with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be very nice and sweet thing to do. <laughs> That's a great suggestion. Thanks, Emily. How about you, Geshe Michael? Well, you know, uh, we have this project uh, to input the ancient books and we've been doing that project for 33 years. And so we choose poor villages in the third world in many countries, um, mainly Mongolia and India, uh, but also other countries. And we help uh, this poor village people to learn to use computer and to put in the great books and we pay them. And some of them have been working over 25 years and they're very happy. Uh, and then sometimes we will send them things for the village you know we will send them boxes of clothing or or things like that and what we found out is that eyeglasses are a very good thing to send uh to the poor villages like africa or india or mongolia and uh you just uh go around and you collect old glasses from people like uh people grow out of their glasses uh their eyesight gets worse <laughs> then they, they have to throw out their old glasses or maybe someone died in your family and they had a lot of glasses. And so we've done projects where we collect the eyeglasses and uh, we send huge boxes to these poor villages. And then I, I thought, I asked my friend, I thought, well, this is not gonna be good because they cannot, they don't get a 
doctor to check their eyes. So how do they know which glasses are good for them? And he laughed and he said, you know, the best system is they try every glasses. And when it works, they keep it, you know? So, uh, and it makes people so happy. Uh, to, so I think to find, uh, we did that with the Lions Club. So maybe if you can find the Lions Club branch, uh, they like to collect eyeglasses and you could help with that. And the older people could help with, with this project and then their eyes would, would get better. I think so. Great, thanks. Well, oh, this year, oh, I'm sorry, Emily, you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so this year, my nephew, she just got her driver's license and she bought a new like a motorcycle and me and Gibson, we we will send her an extra pair of sunglasses because here in Taiwan, the sound is so strong. So I think it's really cool. I like Gashla's idea. We can share extra pair of glasses or sunglasses to protect and to help others to see better. Mm. Yeah. Alex? I had a friend, I have a friend whose eyesight, it was having problems. She needed surgery on her eyes. And what we talked about was because she also is interested in the diamond cutter system and investigating that. So we talked about uh, trying to see the world as coming from, from mm -hmm. us, you know, so that the more we could keep the view that the pen is coming from us and that things weren't coming this way, including our eyesight, the um, more chance she had of her surgery being successful and it was very successful. So that seemed like a, a very good plan. You know, another thing that I've done is when I'm cleaning windows or mirrors or even the car windshield at the gas station, I'm thinking about um, helping people have clear vision. And mm -hmm. I, I had a friend whose windows were very dirty at her house, so I hired someone to come and clean all the windows in her house. You know, and, wow. I, and I thought about how I wanted everybody to be able to see clearly. And especially, I think it's very important that we uh, see our world clearly, like with applying our, our wisdom to the things around us. So I think that I like this question because I think those are kind of related. Wow. I really like Alex's idea about uh, seeing that things are coming from us uh, because that deeper insight, I think it also affects your eyes. I think it is correct that it affects your eyes very much. So I think trying to remember that the things we see around us are coming from us. I think each time we remember that, then our, our eyesight gets better. I, I think so too. Yeah, good. Emily, yeah. do you have some, uh, any other ideas that you want to share at this time? Yeah, so I was just wondering, let's say if in a business situation, if I have some insight, let's say if I see where things are coming from, and then I share this kind of insight with my team, can I do coffee meditation at night and then dedicate a seat for us, for me, myself, and for the whole people in the office to have a clear vision? Is, can we do that? Is that a correlation? I think so. I think oh. it sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a nice one. And I loved your idea, Emily, about helping other people who are having uh, vision problems and just being able to be a support to anybody, even it's, if it's helping your partner find their glasses, which goes on around. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my stepmom, she's about 93 years old, and she has what they call macular degeneration in her eyes. There's no real cure for it. And she's very, very good at uh, finding good doctors. She's very good at, uh, she studies the treatments. So she asks the right questions. She's very careful with doctors. And uh, when she found out she was getting macular degeneration, she volunteered to help at the Blind Society in, in her town, San Diego. And she goes once a week and she reads books to the blind people and she helps them uh, in, the, in the cafeteria. And she just, uh, natural instinct, natural seed instinct to help the blind people. And so her eyes have just stayed the same for many, many years now and she's okay. That's really cool. I think support groups are really important. Like if you, if you do get ill, if you get cancer or something like that and then you come together with other people who have that, which is something I think all over the world. 
uh, people do that. And it's, you know, automatically planting some great seeds to help you be more healthy. I think uh, Tobias's own eyesight is going to be good because if I remember correctly, uh, he gave the diamond cutter book to the president of Germany. Uh, he had a meeting with her uh, at his job. And uh, I saw a photo that he gave her the diamond cutter book and they talked about it. So I think his own eyesight is going to be very good. So thank you, Tobias. I, I think it was you. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Well, we have a special guest today. Uh, as Geshe Michael has been asking us to send in music videos, well, um, instead of just playing a video on the phone for you, we're actually going to have our live musician, Ben Gibson. But maybe, should we first do our three tips to wrap yeah, up our vision good. episode? Okay. Um, Emily, would you like to go first? Okay, thank you. So yes, uh, I think we can do some small thing to help uh, uh, each other to protect their eyes. Let's say share the sunglasses with others, or we can read for them. For, so we can help them to get some insight, so we can help them to have a clear vision on things. That's my taste. Nice. Yes, Michael? I, I say teach people the pen and teach people to teach people the pen. And I don't think there's any faster way to have good eyesight. What do you think? I think it's an easy thing when you're cleaning a mirror or a window and keep your mirrors and windows clean around your house and clean your glasses. Uh, and I think when you're doing that, think about how it's helping everybody to see more. We can clean the lenses on our Zoom camera too. Uh, think about uh, helping other people have good physical eye vision and to have clear uh, insight into how their world works. Cool. Okay, let's play okay. music. So we have Ben Gibson and he is gonna come in here and he's gonna play an original song. I'll let him tell you about it. Hey everybody. Can you bring your, let me bring your stool over a little closer this way. Okay, cool. I can Okay, great. I'm gonna listen from over here. How much time do I got? Uh, less than two hours. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you like. Well, let's see. Um, <laughs> you know, I've been playing guitar for a long time and I love the guitar and music. And uh, uh, this is an original I wrote some years back. It's called She Knows Me. And I think I'll start just, you know, noodling around a little bit and getting into the song. <laughs> Just the same from my dad. 
Song about you? No, it's not about me. I think so. No, uh, angels. I don't know what it's about. It's a mystery song. Um, <laughs> so we have a little bit of housekeeping still to do. Okay. We need to encourage people to send in their questions. We've got the email address there. Hopefully you can see. Yes. Yes, see question at diamondcutterinstitute.com. Please send your question, share with us. Mm -hmm. And you can send your playlists in, and Emily knows that email address too. I didn't have it written down, sorry. Uh, Musicmix at diamondcutterinstitute.com. Musicmix okay. at diamondcutterinstitute.com. Great, is that where people will also send a video of their, their personal musical accomplishments? Not, <laughs> not everyone is lucky enough to have a musician, professional musician living with them, but. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. And Emily, do you have our question for tomorrow? I think we have Janice and Tien on the show tomorrow. And this is the question that, that they're going to be working on. Yes. Hi, Kesha and teachers. My name is Katie. I'm from Singapore. I have this question to ask today. Uh, I've been in the corporate world for several years, and I realized that I really do not like to be inside the corporate world. But the sole reason why I'm still inside a corporate world is because for income, for survival. So I would like to ask, what is the seed that I can plant in order for me to get out of the corporate world without having to worry about the financial obligation and my living expenses? So in my life, I could go on to pursue in what I really wanted to do in my life. Thank you. Yeah. Great question. Yeah. Tough question. Yeah. So it was wonderful to be here with Emily and Geshe thank you, thank you all very much. Thank you for coming and thank you all for watching and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, be safe you guys. And Have don't forget day. to find out the music list play winner tomorrow. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Thank Have you. a great day. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Emily. You are great. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's Peachtree Morning Show. See you next time.